Hi, I'm Kathy Goodson from Goodson Vintage Treasures, and I would like to share with you today how to make lemon drop coasters from IOD Transfer Lemon Drops. I sell these in my Etsy shop temporarily during the pandemic. Later, they'll be in GoodsonVintageTreasures.com. Let me show you the materials you'll need to create your own set of coasters from the lemon drops. First of all, your kit will come with these things. Four sanded blocks. Four cork with sticky that will fit on the bottom. Like this. Three things of paint. One will be your white paint. One will be for your leaves, and one will be a top coat. Four leaf stencils. A tool. A brush. A sponge. And four lemon transfers. This is a finished one. It has the lemon transfer, the stenciled leaves, it's painted white, and it has the cork on the bottom. Let me show you how to make this. First, you'll take your piece of wood and determine which is the best side. Notice that this side has a little bit of splintering, so you don't wanna use that side. You wanna take your chip brush that comes in your kit and you want to take your white paint. Open your paint and paint your edges first. I usually wear gloves for this. and set them on something. And you wanna get just a little bit on the back side. You don't have to paint the back side, but you wanna just overlap it a little bit. Check for drips and wash your brush. We'll be using that brush again, so you'll need to wash it well. Set it aside to dry. This is your stencil. It is two layers. The blue is your stencil and on top is a clear piece of transfer paper. And what you want to do is take your tool that comes in your kit and rub it hard and then the stencil goes on the side. And you want to pull the clear off, taking the blue with it and removing it from the paper backing. Now, if the little veins in the leaves don't come, you'll need to go back like that one didn't want to come and rub it again. There, this is discarded. Now you want to put your leaves on one side. Line it up. Again, you want to rub it. Now you want the blue to stick to your, to your coaster so that you can stencil it. So you want to take the clear off. and it should pull off relatively easy. Let's see if I can. You will make sure the veins stay in the leaves. Okay, then you can discard that. Now that's down good. It's a little bit bigger than you need. Now you wanna take your little sponge and your green paint. It just takes a little bit. You've got way more than you need. 
and you want to blot it. If it looks really wet like that, that's too much paint. You want to wipe that off. There you go. And then you just want to pounce. Be sure you don't get onto the white. Oops. And I just got to, if you do get onto the white part, take a baby wipe or a damp cloth and wipe it off. get too much paint, it will bleed through. And you don't want that. Now once that's done, you can pull the stencil off. I was a little heavy handed with my paint, but I think that looks fine. Now, the veins are still stuck on there. We're gonna let that dry before we remove them. Next, when you remove them, you're gonna get this. Okay, let's do our next one. Again, you wanna take this, you wanna take your tool, remove it, then you wanna peel the paper backing off. Okay, you want to remove the backing. Now look, that's starting to come up, so I don't want that to happen, so I'm gonna have to go back down and rub it some more. Make sure the veins come up. You know, usually once it gets started, it comes off. Again, you wanna lay it down. Use your tool. Now you wanna separate the sticky top clear from the blue and leaving the blue for stencil. This is called transfer tape. Okay, you wanna take your sponge, make sure it's not too wet. I got a little too wet last time and I did that little bit of run, but I think that's gonna be okay. Try not to get it on the white on this side. You can stencil it. If you want it darker, let it dry a little bit and do it again. Okay, move that out of the way because we're finished with the green. You'll do four of these. And this is thrown away. Now, let's flip back. Now, I'm gonna, this is just a little dental tool. You can use anything, a, a pen, a needle, something sharp to get these little veins off. And it's best to pull from one end. Okay.
ठीक है Okay, now see how the tape is connected, so you want to make sure you pull that off or clip it off. This is the sticky side, so don't touch that side. I think that looks perfect. Now you have your little tool, and you're just going to take it, and you're just going to run it back and forth. And you're going to get it to release from this plastic onto the coaster. Lift it up, and you can see it start to release. And if it's not, just go back and rub it again. There, it's starting to release. It'll kind of turn. Can you see it's kind of turning? Wider right there. Once you have your transfer transferred onto your wood, you want to rub it with your hand. Make sure it's pressed down well, and then you want to burnish it with a soft cloth. You want to use your sealer top coat. Tap your brush into it. You have plenty on there to do all four. And you want to go with the grain of the wood. I like to go with the grain of the wood. Make sure there's no drips. Let's do another. Again, I'm going with the grain of the wood. Now you could distress this if you want to. I'm not distressing mine, I like it not distressed. But you can distress it with a little piece of sandpaper if you'd like. You might get a transfer like this one that's bigger than your piece. So you won't, might want to take a pair of scissors and cut your leaf off. And remember it's gonna be taped. You can cut that. Or we'll pull it apart. Position your lemon where you'd like for it to go. Use your tool. Again, you can see it's starting to lift. And it's off. Rub it with your hand. Scrap or something. Rub it with your hand. Burnish with a soft cloth. Now, let's add our leaf. Since we cut it apart, we can add our leaf wherever we want to. And yes, you can land it, but put it on top of your lemon. So we're gonna place it. Rub with your hand. Rub with your hand. Then your soft cloth. Burnish with your soft cloth. Okay, this is the one. Okay, 
Now when that part dries, we can put our finish on it. Now that this is dry, let's put our cork bottom on it. You just peel the sticky off. adhere it to the bottom. Press firmly. Now you're ready to finish this. Using your sealer, you want to go with the grain of the wood. your kit at Goodson Vintage on Etsy or at GoodsonVintageTreasures.com.